leaving that good old gym. Leaving the gym. Glorious house of gains. We got something to talk about today. Let's ride. All right, today we're going to talk about the top five things that I hate about my Hellcat. Kind of. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. This might be the realest top five that y'all have ever seen on YouTube. Um, there's not five things that I hate about my Hellcat. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's maybe three. Red light, camera ahead. Uh, it's really only three. The number one thing that I hate about my Hellcat uh, is the blind spots. I mean, I'm going to hop right into it. It's the blind spots. Uh, the blind spots are absolutely absurd. Um, though you can't fault it because of the design of the car, the shape, uh, how it drops down in the back, and just how it's built. Uh, it makes it really hard when you're trying to change lanes. You not only have to utilize your uh, blind spot monitoring, monitoring and uh, looking over your shoulder and your mirrors and everything, but you, you just you really have to learn the car uh, and, and know where other cars are on the road in order to you know change lanes. I mean. It's not a big deal. It takes some adjusting, but it's possible. It's nothing to not get the car over. My number two thing that I hate about my Hellcat is the brake dust. Uh, the Brembos are absolutely disrespectful. Uh, you can spend all day cleaning your damn car and then drive around the corner and it's brake dust all over the damn thing. And it's absolutely it, it, all over the wheels. It just, it really pisses me off. It, it, it really chaps my ass or pisses me off. Um, I do see where a lot of people switch to the um, Power Stop Z23 and Z26 brake pads. Um, and I am going to eventually switch over to those. I actually have a pair in my trunk, which I, I already had purchased. And I was going to put them on when I took it to the shop. They were like, man, you might as well ride these Brembos out. He was like, you got $2,600 or $3,000 brakes. You might as well use them for now. I was like, you're right. So, yeah, once they run out, then I am going to throw my Power Stops on there. But in the meantime, though, it's very frustrating um, and you never really get used to the brake dust. Number three thing that I hate about my Hellcat, um, which again is not it's not it's not design wise or structurally or engineering wise, it's like I said in the other video, just the haters. It people act like it's a damn Ferrari and they just have it something to say about it all the time. Either people really admire it or people admire it but don't want to admit that they admire it and they start hating on it that's really annoying that's that's probably that should have been number one to be honest but other than that it's not uh it's not five things that i hate about my hellcat if there are five things honestly if there are five things that i hated about this car i probably would not have bought it because it was other cars that it was maybe four things that i disliked about it this one it was three really only two but you know it is what it is. Hold on. What's up? Love your fucking Hellcat. Appreciate it, man. Is it worth it though? Hell yes. <laughs> I've gotten it up to 172. Okay. <laughs> I thought about it, but I live in Montgomery County. I get all the fucking time. I feel you, man. You take it easy. Appreciate Here. it. happens to me all the time though all the time like again like I said either they admire it or they hate it all the time and then up here in Maryland man folks cannot damn drive it's fucking annoying that's probably that should have been number four but now back to what I was saying it's not five things that I hate about this thing and if it was then you know I probably would not have gotten it it was it, when I went and got this car it's actually like I said between a uh a Lexus uh RCF and this, for real, uh, and they were pretty much at a similar price point, but. Ooh, that was fun. But yeah, man. So yeah, like the guy at the light just asked me, is it worth it? Absolutely. If you're able to do it, pull the trigger, get the Hellcat. If it's more than, if it's five things that you really hate about, then it's probably not the car for you. I think people who complain about the gas mileage, I think they're crazy. 
Um, you have a 4,500 plus pound, 700 horsepower, 650 feet pound of torque vehicle, and it's not going to get 30 miles to the gallon. It's just not. It's not. That's that's not realistic. If you're expecting that, you need to go find a more practical vehicle. This is definitely not the vehicle for you. This is one of my dream vehicles. And the only other thing I wish it came with was friends that own a performance shop. That's the only thing that's missing for me. If I had that, I would, well, I'm already in love with it. But if I had that, things would be much better. Much, much, much better. But uh, thanks for viewing this video. Uh, click like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you want to see. Check out the channel. We out.